Dr. Keith Mondesi is touting the initiative as a way for French manufacturers to break into the Carrico market. That market, according to Mondesi, is between 15 and 20 million people. If we encourage the manufacturing that you do here into St. Lucia, which is one of the CARICOM members, giving you the opportunity to penetrate that market. This would open a new market for the French manufacturers. Dr. Mondesi was in Martinique last week, drumming up support for an industrial park in Roseau. He was accompanied by a local delegation, including representatives of the Ministry of Trade, the Ministry of Economic Affairs, the NDC, and the banking sector. Frank Buffon of the Martinican Chamber of Commerce says this is the first time investors have been given the opportunity to invest with facilities. Uh, they will give us the possibility to buy land, uh, to construct uh, any building, to develop the commerce or the industry, and re-export in, in the other island of the Caribbean. Before we have a mis misunderstanding uh, on, the, on the papers you have to to do to go in St. Lucia. You, when you was trying to do something in St. Lucia, you had to go to different uh, offices and you go left, you go right, you don't know exactly what to do. Now they will have one office. Ralph Morplaisy is most enthused by the initiative. Morplaisy, who holds dual citizenship, says he has had to struggle to do business between the two islands. He says Martinican businesses have been craving such an opportunity. They are hungry. Uh, to get into the CARICOM market and uh, this uh, is good for St. Lucia because if they are greedy to get in the CARICOM market, uh, they will, if they are in St. Lucia they will try and produce to sell in this market of the CARICOM which is 20 million people. A representative from France was sent to meet the delegation. Dr. Mondesi says that representative was so impressed that he asked for a delegation to visit Guadeloupe and Cayenne for a similar visit. Clinton Reynolds, HTS News, Channel 4.